quick review. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a test drive. I'm gonna do, obviously show you the hot points of the Highlander. Um, definitely nice, aggressive styling. I really, really like this vehicle. Um, it's a real comfortable ride, very luxurious feel. I mean, this particular one that I'm gonna show you is gonna be the limited model. The great thing is the sales on this vehicle were always okay. Um, what they did is they redesigned it for 2014 and what they were trying to go after was the male market. So after going after the male market, they made the grill bigger, more, more of an aggressive feel with the wraparound headlights. Um, definitely gave it a awesome, awesome look. And guess what? As soon as they did that, the sales just took off for, for the Highlander. So we've been selling these things like crazy. It's hard to keep these vehicles in stock, um, but really, really nice. So if you take a look at the front, nice, aggressive, big front grille just makes you feel like it's coming at you. Another cool thing about the Highlander is it does have the LED daytime running lights if you get the limited model. So I don't want you to think you get this through all of them. Fog lights, wrap around headlights. You already know how I, I like the projector beam. Just got that nice, nice, nice look. This does have a 3.5 liter V6 engine that's paired with the six speed automatic transmission. So what that means, it's got great power. It's got great fuel economy. Um, drives really nice down the road. Um, I'm, I take it up, up and down hills all the time with customers and it never, never hesitates. It never has a problem. Uh, and taking those hills. All right guys, so coming along the side here, 19 inch chrome tech wheels. So definitely a nice look, more rim, less tire. So what that means to you is you get that more of a control feel, more better handling, not a lot of body roll, not a lot of roll when it comes to cornering and all that stuff because there's a lot less rubber, but enough rubber to give you a nice comfortable ride. So if you look over here, another thing too that I wanna mention, you have your side turn signals here so safety reasons you know gives you a nice um, visibility when it comes to people knowing that you're turning so that's definitely nice there another awesome thing that comes with this vehicle is intelligent key so intelligent key cool thing about that is you just grab the door handle it, it opens it up or or on the passenger side so if you do it on the driver's side it's only going to unlock the driver door if you do it on the passenger side it's going to unlock all the doors so that's a good way to figure out if you um, want all the doors unlocked or just yours, but cool thing, you know, if you're ever feel uncomfortable, you don't ever have to sh look through your pockets, look through your purse or anything to get into your vehicle. If you're getting into your uh, car, you know, late at night or anything though, all you do is just grab the handle and unlocks your driver's side door only, jump in it, put your, put your foot on the brake, press the power button or start button and you are good to go. You'd be off and running in no time. So definitely a nice safety feature and, and an awesome convenience feature, especially if you have kids too. All right guys, so getting into the vehicle, definitely easy to get in and out of the car. Uh, this, this one does have a JBL audio system, so definitely, definitely a great, great sound. Um, another thing too is, these seats are pretty snug. I really like them. Um, I like that it has perforated leather in the middle. Um, so it's that leather with a bunch of little holes in it, if you don't know what perforated it is. Um, definitely a nice feel, um, lasts a lot longer, and you do have air conditioning seats, plus heated seats in this vehicle, so that helps out with that. Um, obviously lets the air blow through when it comes to the air conditioning seats. But leather wrapped steering wheel, definitely a nice size. Um, not super big or not super small. Um, you have your, your information screen controls here on the right hand side, which controls the information in the middle of, of your cluster. And on the left side, you have your Bluetooth slash audio um, controls here. Obviously you turn signals and headlights are on the left hand side. Uh, windshield wipers on the right hand side, which is pretty standard. Um, cruise controls on the right hand side. If you've owned a Toyota, this cruise control is the exact same. You don't have to worry about relearning a cruise control. It's really easy to use. Another cool thing I like about this Highlander, it is, like I said, it is a limited model. It does have uh, preset seats, so you can have driver one and driver two. You don't have to worry about readjusting how you like how you liked it. You just set it to it, and every time you get in, you press one or two, whatever preset is yours, and you get to have your seat the way you like it. So that's definitely an awesome feature. Um, looking inside the vehicle, you do have a nice navigation system, definitely a nice screen to, to you're able to see, touch screen, minimal buttons, which is like the new thing that people are doing now. Um, you know, not a lot of uh, buttons or knobs and all that kind of stuff, giving it more of a nice sleeker look. You do do have dual climate controls. So dual climate controls, um, you know, you have your fan down here, um, also, you have your USB port, which is cool, and you have your aux, which is like under this tray, 
but under this tray you're able to open this up here and you're able to feed your wires through it so you can kind of have your, your iPad or your iPhone on this tray area and keep everything nice and sleek looking. Um, like I said, they have knobs here for heated and cooled seats. Um, your shifter is down here in the middle, pretty standard shifter just like every other Toyota that we have here. Um, nice size cup holders. You also do have um, home link, so yeah, you can uh, do up to three garage doors openers. You can even do uh, gates to your house, lights to your house, um, but you have up to three, so that's a very nice feature. You have your moonroof, which is cool. Uh, you know, a lot of people like the moonroofs. Um, just depends on the person, but that's what you'd get in the limited model, and obviously a few other models too. You get you'd get the moonroof. Uh, so let me show you around to the back seat. So coming along to the back seats here, definitely really nice. Um, if you get the limited model, um, keep in mind that you only get the option of captain's chairs. So if you want the highest model with all the options on it, which would be the limited, you only get captain's chairs. So you do lose one seat. So that's something that you definitely got to keep in mind. Um, so, but it's pretty cool. I mean, I like it. I would, I would probably get this. I don't have, you know, I only have one daughter, but I like this one. You have your little cup holders here in the middle. You do have an outlet back here, which is your regular outlet. I, you know, I'm not too savvy, so I don't know exactly what it's called. The ones that you could just plug in at home, that kind of, that type of outlet. You have your climate controls down here. Um, and you have a nice little armrest, so it's definitely comfortable back here. You even have a shade that you could pull up on this side and on the, pa and on the other side that can, you know, if you have a, a young child, um, these windows do come tinted from the factory, but if you want to have it a little bit darker, you pull up that shade and it'll keep the sun out of your, uh, out of your child's eyes, uh, which is, you know, really nice when you keep them nice and cool. So definitely a nice, nice feature there. All right, so coming around the back here, um, you do have your backup sensors that is available on the Limited. I'm just going to show you all the features that the Limited has because they have it right in front of me. So the Limited does have um, backup sensors. Backup camera is pretty much a standard feature nowadays. Uh, you can open up the hatch here. In case you don't want to open up the full tailgate, you can just open up the glass and just throw things in there which is really cool. I'm glad they did that. I feel like that was kind of a thing they used to do before with the SUVs and they kind of got away with it, but they're back. back. They're doing it here with the Highlander still. So there's that. Um, Highlander, limited, power lift gate, so you don't get tired. So it also has a height adjustment. You could actually lower it too if you're a little shorter. Um, and you can't reach up that high, so it does have a high, height adjustment that's really, really easy to do. Um, I'll make a video on that too, on how to adjust the height on power lift gates. Me personally, I would just like the standard lift gate. I mean, it's just a lot faster, you know, it's just, you can just lift it up and put it down. Um, but hey, if you want a power lift gate, it is available on this model. Uh, let me get my stuff out of here. But So, um, you, get, you do get the third row. Uh, seating in this and it's and it does seat three people um, all you have to do is pull down this I don't know if you can see this this seat belt here this seat belt will strap into there and it'll keep the passenger in the middle safe or it can hide back up here in case you want to fold the seats down folding the seats down super easy you lift up a lever over here down it goes lift up another lever over here and down it goes really easy now you have all the space here to put all your stuff. Um, the, the two seats in the middle also fold down too if you need some extra, extra space, but definitely a lot of cargo space. I mean, you have all the space. People in the third row even have great seating. I uh, didn't get an angle of that, but the seating in the third row is really good. You don't have to put kids back there. You know, that's, a, that's sometimes the thing with the third row is people just want to throw their kids back there because it doesn't have a lot of leg room. Well, the great thing about this, it is an all wheel independent suspension and you do have great leg room. We don't need to have a hump in the back in order to make room for an axle. It doesn't have an axle. It has an all wheel independent suspension. So we don't need to have a hump to make that room which takes away from your, um, your leg room. So anybody can sit back there. I've sat back there. It's definitely a comfortable ride. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a third row there. So this is a limited V6 front wheel drive. Um, overall score, for crash test ratings is five stars, so five out of five. So definitely a safe vehicle for you and your family. Uh, frontal, driver driver, um, and passenger. Drivers four, passengers five, um, and side crash, uh, front 
and rear seats are all five, and rollover is four out of five. So it's got really, really good uh, test ratings. 19 city miles per gallon, 25 on the highway. So good gas mileage for the size of the vehicle. You know, you don't have to step into a Sequoia that gets you 13 miles per gallon in the city in order to get something to fit your whole family. This vehicle can definitely do all of that. So this, this one is priced at 41,978. Um, just depending on what kind of options you want, they, they do have some that are lower priced uh, just to, or, and they have some that are higher priced. So this is a limited, but it doesn't have every single thing that you can get on it, but it does have a lot of options. So All right guys, we're gonna go take this on a little bit of drive. Just wanted to take you guys on a real quick drive. Definitely an awesome, awesome vehicle. Uh, I love the Highlander. I mean, it's my favorite SUV. Don't tell my friends, because uh, they think it's a mom car. But uh, it's definitely a really nice car. I mean, smooth, all wheel independent suspension. So you do get that nice car feel. It's kind of a, it looks bigger on the outside. I mean, it's not huge, but it does look a little bit bigger. Um, but when you drive it, that's that's the part that sells this car. If you don't like the looks already, because I'm going to say 99% of people are going to like the way this car looks already. But if that doesn't get you, then for sure, driving this vehicle, that's, what you're, that's when you're going to fall in love with this vehicle. It drives just like a car, but it has a, has a third row seat. Definitely a nice uh, feel, nice acceleration. There's a really steep hill coming up. Um, and I just want to show you guys how it can handle it. it. It handles it really well. I mean, it's got a V6 engine, so here's a hill. You know, it dominates it. It's no big deal. Doesn't, it doesn't even struggle to go up any hills. All right, so thank you guys once again um, for tuning in. Hopefully I answered all your guys' questions. I did a real quick overview of this vehicle. Just wanted to give you guys an idea of what's on it, kind of ins and outs, and just kind of give you a, a little bit of a walk around so you guys don't have to go into the dealership and take a look inside. Hopefully this gives you a lot better visuals than just looking at pictures. So once again, this is RP3, your car guy here at Toyota Santa Maria. If you have any questions, please give me a call, 805-621. 4955 and if you want to reach me at the store it's 805-928-3881 and this is Robert Perez your car guy here at Toyota of Santa Maria thank you